So today we are going to be talking about a fragrance that nobody talks about in the fragrance industry. I've seen a couple of reviews, but I've never seen any of the big channels review this. And to me, that's a shame because this is a very nice hidden gem in the fragrance world. If you're looking to get a nice, sweet clubbing fragrance with a bit of a formal touch to it, get this one, Playboy Generation. This is the most current version. They used to sell them in, you know, smaller bottles with, and it had like that wrap around it. I have a body spray version of it, liquid form and body spray. Now the body spray is, it's basically the same scent, but much more lighter. It's not as dense. So body spray review, dot. The fragrance itself, I would say it's very comparable to, if you've smelled this one, Nightman Blue. Now Nightman Blue is very similar to Ultramal, which means that this fragrance is a kind of like a distant relative to Ultramal. I mean, you can even see the color similarities of this and Ultramal. This smells kind of similar to Ultramal, but not, not quite there. This doesn't really have that much fragrances that smell like it. Yes, there are other fragrances that are sweet and there are other fragrances that have similar notes, but none of them really come close to having this, this sweet, the DNA of this is strange. Let me describe it to you. So first up, let's spray this. Oh, but before we spray it, let's look at the presentation. Presentation is decent. It's a nice, you know, generic bottle with green liquid. And the cap is, the cap is crap. It is not good. But yes, let's spray this fragrance. Spray on us is actually decent. Nice and distributed. Mmm, dude. I can see why I fell in love with this fragrance. It's perfect. Dude, so right off the bat, you're hit with fresh blasts of pineapple wrapped in a bit of lavender and a bit of tonka bean. So it gives you kind of a gourmand, aromatic, fruity smell. For me, there's no note that's more prominent than the other. They're kind of all equal. You get that tonka bean, you got that pineapple and bergamot, the fruity side of things, and you have the lavender. They all combine to make this smooth, kind of slightly powdery, slightly like a barbershop type smell, but modernized. And it's very just, it's strange. It's sweet, but it's not sweet. And it's aromatic, but it's not overly aromatic. It's It's got a weird, it's got a weird opening. But yeah, the tonka bean, pineapple, bergamot, and lavender, that's what you get straight up. So it's a nice, fresh, sweet, aromatic opening. Really nice. And there is a touch of cinnamon, but not too much. It gives it a slight spice to it. It gives you this kind of, this kind of like, um, like a fizzy nuance, not entirely, but yeah. And of course there's vanilla in here, not necessarily a standalone note, but kind of amplifies the sweetness, lots of vanilla. They say there's leather in here and I can kind of get that in the dry down, but I don't really get too much leather. The leather may be just a base for the notes to rest on. As the notes kind of like, you know, disperse themselves, the leather is like this, you gotta really get in getting close to smell the leather as it radiates up your skin. You don't really get too much leather, in my opinion. There's also cedar wood in this. Again, don't get too much cedar wood as well. What you get in the opening is basically what you get in the dry down, but switched up, which is the case for most fragrances. So that lavender is still there. That pineapple is still there. The bergamot is gone at this point because it's not that prominent. It kind of just amplifies, adds to the pineapple, and then it's gone. The tonka bean gives it this smooth, powdery, syrupy vibe to it, which I quite like. It gives it a nice candy-like feel. That mixed with the pineapple gives it a nice, of course, candy-like pineapple smell, but it's not atrociously assaulting pineapple like in Nightman Blue. If you smelt this one, you know what I mean. This is, whew, that is very strong. Then you got that lavender to give it a bit of aromatic. It's quite nice and I would say it has a slight formal feel to it, but not entirely. It is not a formal fragrance. It's a clubbing fragrance. It's designed for just kind of like, I mean, Playboy fragrances, a lot of them are designed to just mess around in. You know what Playboy, the, the whole brand identity, you know, all you have are like these, you know, sexy stripper fuckboy people, but that is, I'm sorry if that offends Playboy people, but sorry, very sexual, <laughs> very... <laughs> you know, very out there, but their fragrances kind of match this brand identity. They match the overall, that kind of sexy feel. It is, it is kind of sexy, a little bit more for younger crowds, because this does have a bit of a youthful edge to it. It's not as, you know, 
it doesn't have that deep that deep sophistication that you get in more mature fragrances but yes the tonka bean the lavender the cinnamon the pineapple it all makes for this unique kind of aroma of sweet and syrupy kind of candy like sweetness so that is the overall you know dna profile i could talk about this for ages but we're so pressed on time you know don't want to make this like 30 minutes long there is cashmere in this but i don't really get too much cashmere in it, I feel like it kind of just complements the tonka bean. There is, of course, the leather, but again, don't get too much leather. For me, the top three players of this fragrance is tonka bean, pineapple, and I, I would feel it's a tie between lavender or cinnamon. They, the cinnamon adds this spice, this fizz, this, this bite to it, but the lavender gives it its nice soft, you know, aromatic facet. I really like that. That is very nice. As for the body spray version, you don't really get too much of that tonka bean. It's more focused on the fruitier side of things. It's kind of weird. As for longevity and projection, this lasts quite a decent amount of time. I would say about five hours. It is pretty weak since it is a cheaper fragrance, but for seven bucks, just spray, just spray a lot. Fragrances, spray as much as you want because you only live once and fragrances should be something you enjoy. Just spray along, man. Spray 30 sprays if you want. That is the overall scent profile. That is the longevity projection. Compliment factors, I wouldn't say. I'm the type of, you know, guy that never really gets any, you know, attention from fragrances. Actually, that's a lie. I'm kind of known in my circles as the guy who likes fragrances, so never mind. I just don't really get compliments from fragrance because a lot of people, they look at fragrance as like this compliment and getting type thing, which is a good thing in some ways, a bad thing in some, but to me, I'm not looking for that in fragrances. But I would say, I think this would be a pretty decent compliment getter, especially if you've got that youthful edge to you that matches this, you know? So yeah, that's about it for the review. Playboy Generation is quite nice. It really is. It's one of those fragrances where it's so elusive in the fragrance industry. Definitely get this. Blind by worthy, yes, blind by worthy. If you don't like sweet cloying fragrances, don't get it because it can get kind of sweet at times, but then again. So yeah, that's about it for the review. If you guys like my review for Playboy Generation, please leave a like and a comment on what you wanna, you know, what you wanna see me review next. I got a whole bunch I gotta review. I'm gonna be doing Boss Bold Night next, I'm pretty sure. And probably, I'm not too sure, Silver Set. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.